hey guys welcome back to my channel so i've noticed that a lot of you guys really enjoy my pocket planner related videos so i decided to do a plan with me um inside my pocket planner so if you didn't know my pocket planner is the small kiki k and i do have a planner set of video about this already but i did change it just a tiny bit so if you guys want to see a updated flip through of my pocket planner let me know down in the comments below so the inserts that I'm using, um, they are from So Much Crafting and what I really like is that you don't necessarily have to have a pocket ring. You could actually get these for like if you have a TN just for the pocket size and they have this same format. So I always like to take out my inserts that way I could um, easily decorate my spread. Okay, so first things first, let me show you guys the kit that I will be using to decorate this week and I'm actually using the leftover stickers from the watercolor butterfly kit from Chick Blossom Prints. I love her kits because you get so many stickers um, left after you use them and I actually used this kit for this week in my Erin Condren so as you can see I have a lot of stickers left over and I only like to use like skinny or small stickers because I do have the pocket planner so I'm just going through them and trying to see which ones I could use. And I'm even going to have leftover stickers for my personal spread, so I'm going to save the bigger ones for that. So the washi that I will be using this week, um, the floral one is from Michaels and this glitter one is from Home Goods. And if you guys didn't know, I'm currently obsessing over gold foil stickers, so my little stash is in this green little thingy, I don't know what you call this. So, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is lay down my washi, and I usually like to lay it down on the sides, and I'm going to put the um, floor one more on the end corners, if that's what it is, I don't know. That way the glitter one is right in the middle, that way the stickers don't clash, the colors of the stickers don't clash with the um, floral washi. So, I'm almost done with these inserts because I got them in July and they end in June. So, I don't know if I should stick with this format or if I should try a new one. I know I don't want vertical um boxes or anything like that because my Erin Condren is like that and my personal my personal planner. So, I'm I don't know. I'm either between these or the week on two pages. So, let me know what you guys um use that way I get some ideas. I do like this format though, so I might keep it because I like the grid on the side, but sometimes I don't use all of it. That's why I use a lot of washi on the um, left side, so I'm not so sure, so give me some ideas, please. So on this side, I actually, like I was saying, I actually like to use it on both sides, and that's all I'm going to do here. So I thought that this washi was perfect, not only because it matched the kit. Well, I actually chose this kit because it has a lot of pinks and reds. And I don't know, I relate those colors to Mother's Day. I don't know. I thought it was going to look so pretty. And then um, to bring in more of the red, I chose the glitter tape. And I don't mind using glitter tape inside my pocket planner because I usually take those inserts out like sooner or later. And they they don't become bulgy as... Um, as compared to the Erin Conjure where you can't take the sheets out. So that is all I'm doing and I'm just going to add that glitter tape on the sides. That way it brings a little bit of pop. Oh my god, it's, it turned out so pretty. You guys will see in a few. So you guys know that the current obsession right now is foiled stickers. And I was trying to stay away from it, but I had to give in. So I decided to just use foiled stickers inside my pocket planner because it's small and I just have to buy a few and usually when I use um stickers inside my um pocket planner I only use like functional ones so I decided to just focus on getting um gold foil stickers because the rings inside my planner are gold so yeah that's the way that I could um give in to my obsession and not waste a lot of money and look how pretty the glitter tape looks with the floral so now I'm just gonna hole punch the whole and I'm going to use my hole puncher and this one I got at the 90, 99 cent store so it's very practical and cheap so that is all I'm doing and that's like the basic structure of my spread. I'm going to start off by decorating the left side of the spread. Usually this is like my sidebar but all I use it for is to make lists of things and 
Um, all I'm going to do right now is go through my stickers and I already picked out these two um, heart checklist full boxes and I'm going to choose uh, make a list of important things and then of errands and then look at this gorgeous bow divider I'm obsessed with her bow dividers I love that she um, includes them in her spreads so I'm going to use that one and I'm just gonna stick them behind my hand that way I just have them there um, so yeah and then if you guys see those page flags up there I like how they're decorative so I'm going to use one and put it on the top and here are the checklist boxes and I think I'm going to cut one so here's the one that I'm going to use for like background and I decided to use the pink with the purple I just love those colors and that way it won't clash with the red ones and blue I don't know I'm trying to use less blue colors in this spread so I'm just trying to center it as much as I can usually I lay down my um stickers cricket but I just want to put it center that way it looks like a nice line up um and then i'm going to go through my gold foil stash and i'm going to look for a remember sticker and these remember stickers are from the sticky slop designs oh my god i love the script on these and um i'm just gonna take one and put it inside the thing and usually i like to use my little um tweezers so i could put them straight but since it was kind of big, it went there. And then I'm trying to do the little wiggle so you guys could see, but I have to master that. And then I'm just going to put this little label. So I, I wanted to leave some white space in between, but I noticed that it wasn't going to fit all the stickers. So I just put it right under it, and that's for my important list. And then I'm going to take the heart checklist, but first I'm going to like strain it out. And now I'm going to take my heart checklist full box and I'm just going to put it right under it. And I like to um, flip my paper upside down. That way I can lay the stickers more straighter. And I decided to use the red checklist one because I thought that the orange one was going to look a lot more nicer with the um, blue header. So that is all I'm doing. I'm just laying down my checklist full box and then I'm going to take the bold divider and I'm just going to put it um, under that. That way I could separate the list and that way it adds a little cuteness to it, you know. And then I'm just trying to strain it against the line. So what I really like about these inserts is that they have grids. That way I could, that way it really helps to strain out your stickers, you know. And then, um, I'm going to take the Aaron's header and I'm just going to put it under there. And I really like that some of the stickers are like watercolor. I don't know. I think it looks so pretty. So now I'm going to take the other um, heart checklist full box. But I did realize that it didn't fit good. So I'm just checking how many I could actually fit. And it turned out that I could only fit four. So I'm just going to cut it down and I'm going to use my little slice tool from Michaels and I always like to use a transparent ruler and this one is from Erin Condren um, that way I just see what I'm cutting and I'm just gonna cut through that and oh my god it took me so long to actually find this slice tool at Michaels and I'm so glad I find I finally got it because it does make a difference um compared to other exacto knives I think that this one works a lot more better and it doesn't cut through too much through the papers if you know what I mean but I still checked if I made a scratch on the table and I actually didn't but I did realize that I peeled some of the wood so oops um so now I'm just gonna take the um checklist and I'm just gonna put it below the header and I was gonna add some of the washies like one of the thin washi strips but um, I really like the the look of the white space there, so I just left it, and that's how I did the little sidebar, or this half side of the planner. And I think it looks so pretty. So here I'm trying to shimmy the paper so you guys can see the foil sticker, but I still have to master that because you could hardly see it. So now moving on to the actual plans, but first I'm going to show you guys the gold foil stickers that I'm going to use. And they are from Sticky Slop Designs, Magic Prince Co., and Carolina's Crafts. And from the Chick Blossom Prince Kit, I'm actually going to use some labels. 
um, page flags, icons, and just like little stickers that I see from the kit that I want to use. So now I'm going to um, go day by day. And I don't know why, but I actually started on Saturday. Um, I really don't know why I started on Saturday instead of Monday. But um, for Saturday, I'm going to take the page flag. And I want to get a decorative one because they are so pretty. And then I'm just going to put on on top the foiled plant sticker and I was gonna center the label um, in between the lines of Saturday but I don't know why but I, I just um, put it against the top line and that way it's more straighter so now I'm just gonna take a little um, plan script foil sticker from Carolina's crafts and you guys oh my gosh her st foil stickers come with so many stickers I had to cut it down and look at how many I still have left. So I'm just going to put the, um, oh, and here are my tweezers. I have to use, ever since uh, I started using tweezers for my small stickers, I actually use them for even big stickers because it helps me um, position them really um, nice. So I wanted to mark, uh, oh, I wanted to mark that I wanted to wash my makeup brushes. So I just had that tiny little space. So I figured that this little arrow from Sticky Slot Designs will fit really nicely there. And it did. Oh my god, it's perfect. It's the perfect size. Um, and then I like how you get different sizes of arrows in that sheet. Oh, and I also wanted to mark my friend's birthday on Saturday. So I took these balloons from Magic Prince Co. And her stickers are so pretty. Um, this sticker was actually bigger than the space I had. So I didn't mind that it went a little bit over Sunday. But I just positioned it like that. Um, and I'm just going to write next to it that it's my friend's birthday so now I think I am going to start off by um, planning on Monday so what I'm going to do is take this label and I think I'm going to center it and yeah I'm going to center it right in the middle um, and then I'm going to take a laptop just to mark that I'm going to work on the computer almost all day and these laptop stickers they are from sticker slot designs and I just, I'm just gonna put the put it on the label just to add a little bit of um I don't know and so I wasn't sure that I was going to do a voiceover that's why I always show you like where the stickers are from in the thing so let me know if you guys like these voiceovers or if you guys just want to speed through plan with me just with music in the background so now I'm going to mark that I want to go watch a movie and these stickers are actually for YouTube but I'm going to use the movie clippers for whenever I go watch a movie so I'm just gonna place it right there in the little space on the side of the label and yeah On Tuesday, I'm going to mark work and I'm going to take this scallop label from the kit and then I'm just going to place it in the center and then on top of the label, I'm going to put these cute little eyeglasses from Magic Prince Co. And oh my god, you guys, look at these cute little glasses. Not only are they so little, but look at the bow in the corner. Oh my god, they are adorable. So I'm just going to put it on top right there. And then we're going to move on on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I have more things to mark down. So I'm going to take these little arrows from the sticky slot designs and I'm just going to put them on, on the side just to mark two things that I have to do that day. Um, and they fit so nicely. So just in case if you guys didn't know, I do use my pocket planner, but just to list um or mark really important stuff like big events or things that are going to last all day so I do not mark every single thing that I do that day in this planner because I just have little space in it so on the other side I'm going to put this little thing from um chick blossom prince kit and then on top of the little things I'm going to put this little gorgeous bow that you will see in a bit so yeah I just mark like important things or major 
key things that are going to happen this week. Just so I have it there on the go. So these gorgeous bowls, they are from the from Sticky Slot Designs. And I'm just going to put one on top just to cover the asterisk. Even though I didn't need to, but I just wanted to add that little bow because it looks so cute. Next, I'm going to fill out Friday because I skipped Thursday because I wasn't sure what I was going to do for that day for now. Like, I think it was my day off. So on Friday, I took this label with the glitter accent at the front and I'm just going to use it to mark um, uh, shopping because I need to go shopping. So I'm just going to put it in the middle and then on top, I'm going to take this little shopping bag from Magic Prince Co. and just wait till you guys see it. Oh my god, it's so cute. Where is it? Let me show you guys. Look at how cute they are. And then they have the little heart in the middle. Oh my god, I'm dead. It's so pretty. Um, So after observing it for like a while. um, And then I'm trying to show you guys a little shimmy. So um, I'm just going to put that on top of the label. Just to mark down that I'm going to go shopping. And then on the side, I'm actually going to use a little heart. Just to mark date night and these hearts are from the sticky slot designs so I'm just going to put it there just because it fits really nicely and that's it for Friday On Sunday, I'm going to mark that it's going to be Mother's Day. So I took this bigger um, quarter label and I'm just going to put it in the center and then in the middle, like on the top, I'm going to put a cute little bow and it's going to look like those um, boxes from, who is it? I think it's Simply Water Co., the one that has these boxes. I'm not sure, but um, some Etsy shop has these boxes already where it has a, like a little bow on top of the box. But, oh my God, you guys, it looks so cute. So, I just did that. And then on the side, I wanted to mark that I'm going to church. Um, but I couldn't find any um, foil stickers. And to be honest, I didn't want to use any more on the side because I... I feel like the spread is almost overwhelmed with so many gold foil stickers. So I decided to get that little asterisk from the kit. And I'm just going to place it right there just to mark that I'm going to church. Now I'm going back to Thursday. I decided to make that my cleaning day. So um, I just took these this cleaning functional sticker from the kit and I'm just going to place it there. And I like it that it's pretty big. That way it fits nicely in there. And then on the side I'm going to take another little things from the kit just to put it under the date. And then on top of that, um, I don't know why, but I decided to put a little cell phone just to mark, to remember to post on Instagram because I usually forget to post. I don't know why. I could post every single day, but I don't know why. I just don't post. Um, so it's usually at the end of the week where I start posting again. Um, so yeah, that's all I'm going to mark there. And that's it for this week, basically. So here's the completed look for this week's plan and I was trying trying to do the little shimmy so you guys could see the all the foilness and it doesn't do justice in person it looks so beautiful especially the gold foil next to the red glitter tape it looks so pretty. I'm literally obsessed you guys so let me put it in my planner that way you guys could get the completed full view inside the planner um it looks so pretty so yeah let me know if you guys want to um see more of these at least i will try my best to do one um one once a week so oh here i wanted to show you guys my pendulum it it matches perfectly with the kit it's 
so pretty because it, it has the gold metal with the gold rings and then the gold foil stickers oh my god it's so pretty so here i am again trying to move the planner that way you guys get a better view of the foil stickers and it kind of worked so um now i'm going to show you guys the leftover stickers that i have from chick blossom prints and as you can see i still have so many of them and keep in mind that i already used a lot of them inside my urn conjuring and you guys just saw how many i used inside um this spread so yeah i definitely have some left and stuff for my personal rewind spread so yeah that is all for this week's video definitely let me know if you guys want to see more plan with me's inside my pocket planner and i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did don't forget to leave a like and yeah i will see you guys soon with another video bye